everybody, OCD Farming here today and welcome back to Big Flats, Texas. And does it look a little nicer because I'm on a PS5 now? Yeah, oh, yeah buddy. Uh, so yeah, we are back at Big Flats, Texas for yet another freaking map tour. Um, but yeah, we are on PS5 now. I, I caved in and finally bought one. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you what we got so far. Um, we do got a bunch of stuff and a bunch of land. So we got field 14 here, and it's a wheat field, and it's actually ready to harvest. That's why I bought it. Um, and then we got field 3, 4. We got the main farm here. We got the secondary farm over here. I took out a bit, or field 6 here. Uh, we got 8, 9, 11, well, 23 there, uh, 12, 4, 3, 5, 6, and a little 22 right here. Uh, all we have to harvest are this wheat field here and this wheat field, I think, this is, yeah, wheat field here in field 10. Um, and as you can see, it is so much quicker to load. Like, look at that. Freaking soil composition instantly. It takes me like freaking 20 seconds on PS4. <laughs> Uh, um, but yeah, that's not the only thing. Um, if you're not on PS4 and still, or not on PS5 and still on PS4, um, you get a 2,800 slot count uh, total. Uh, usually you can get up to about 1,400 before it starts glitching out. Um, I'm at 1,700, and we have 4,400 capable slots on console, or PS5, sorry. Really dope. I like that. So yeah, um, very nice. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. So yeah, and it's still not even glitchy. Like it, it stutters here and there, but that's, that's to be expected. Um, my controller is brand new, but it is already <laughs> drifting, as you can tell. Um, I don't know. I might just have to reset it. Uh, we'll see. I might need to get a new controller though. So yeah, bear bear with me as I deal with that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we'll uh, give you the uh, grand tour. Uh, where are we at? We are at the main farm here. So we'll start here and then we'll work our way over there. So we got the uh, big American house, I think it's called. Something like that, American house. Um, but in it, we got uh, the new Rumbler van, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, I don't think it has ramps anymore, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but it does have an unrealistic capacity, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll go down to the Rumbler flatbed. Um, and it's, what's that, like 100 mil or some crazy freaking number like that. So yeah, it holds a lot. Uh, and it holds like pretty much all, this, all the base game crops uh, solid stuff uh, yeah anyways that's that uh, it is a little bumpy over here I try to make it look like a rock but uh, PS5 at least with this controller that I have it's sketchy to say the least so I just kind of made it all a little wonky um, but yeah that's that <laughs> uh, we also got the basic garage here um, and we got this RTO flat deck uh this is actually fairly new not very new i haven't played in like a month so yeah but yeah very nice uh not very big but we can fit skid steer on there mower maybe uh, yeah very cool so is that uh we got the tlx 1982 series and this is the crew cab um so yeah that's that and we have a fuel deposit for this one with case decals. And I don't know why, but the color scheme looks like it's off. It's different, but it's the same color for some reason. Anyways, we got the case UTV there. So that's that. Uh, we got a multi fruit fill trigger there. Actually, we'll come around back here. Uh, we got a little. Uh, Dirt shop, I think it's called. And tools. Uh, dirt farm workshop. Yeah, that's what it's called. Dirt farm. What's up, dirt? 
Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's that. And a very nice shed, I gotta say. It's even got a basketball net that you could lower. So there it goes. I like to keep it up though, because it kind of glitches out if you did keep it down. You save your game, I found. But yeah, very nice. It is a workshop too, so I can... There we go. So I can repair everything in here. So that's good. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice. And yeah, we also got the Silverado in here. So yeah, we got two goosenecks. <laughs> Crazy. That's how much slots I had to work with. I could just buy whatever I want now, basically. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, we got the old diesel tank. It uh, holds 3,000 liters. I believe this is fairly new. But then again, I haven't played it like a month, so yeah. Uh, right here we got the cell or seed and fertilizer factory production, and we got uh, this shed here. I forget what this is called. Uh, metal garage, and you can change the color of the roof. Uh, but yeah, we got two uh, 400 series special edition magnums. These are the 800 horsepower ones so yeah and we got big fatties and weights there on both of them and then we got a k7250 pro series uh this is 306 horsepower uh and then we got a massey fertilizer spreader there and a thousand kilogram weight and we got our gooseneck here very tight squeeze in that door, but she fits. All right, uh, we'll come back over here. Uh, we got the American uh, garage, part of the American shed pack, I believe it's called. Uh, but in it, we got a bunch of stuff. We got TLX Phoenix uh, with the uh, pallet auto load. So this will auto load pallets. And then we got another one here, uh, X2, both of them are X2. Uh, and this one here will auto load bales. Uh, and then we got the DOG, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, got the cab over. And um, yeah, roll deck. We got the nice roll deck on there. Uh, we also got the Shootmaker 120 Vertigo mixer. Holds 12,000, and we got the DLC Case Age Farm All 1066. So that's that. Coming here, we got our stone picker trailer, and we also got the Kinsey Multi Fruit Planter, and we'll also do poplar and sugar cane and all that. Uh, there is like a little office in there, but nothing in there, just the workshop trigger. And yeah, so that's that. Alright, so we also have a Big Flats Texas modded uh, uh, liquid fertilizer tank. We also have a solid fertilizer tank. What's that? Uh, it is a little bumpy over here. Look at that. Freaking brutal. Cannot do anything with it for the life of me. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go really slow. <laughs> uh, anyways, we got the uh, horse barn in L shape. Uh, this is part of the Horman uh, horse pack or pasture pack, whatever the hell it's called. And I believe it holds 16 horses and yeah. Uh, then we got a little Pioneer silo here. Uh, I think this only holds like 75,000. 150,000. Not bad. And all we're going to be storing in there is oats and maybe some straw if we can fit it. Alright, so yeah, that is that. And then we'll head back over here. Uh, so yeah, we got a 20 million liter grain quid silo there. 
Uh, we got a workshop bench here, and we also have a lime production down there. I'll show you that later. But yeah, we also have the SP 10 meter plow. Uh, we got the Minette Farms workshop shed here. Very nice. I like this shed a lot. This is probably one of my favorite sheds. Uh, but yeah, we got the tra uh, the Titan Draper header there. That I think is the unrealistic speed. Uh, no, actually no. That's 17k. This is the unrealistic speed. I think. Uh, but yeah, the corn header. It's right there. Um, we also have the uh, K715 quad track. Mad expensive. <laughs> Uh, then we got the Case H Patriot Sugarcane Sprayer thing. We got the 4540 tight, or, yeah, Titan Spreader, mainly for lime. And we got the Colossus 9000 uh, Combine. And that's everything in there. Uh, we got a header rack that I am not utilizing at all for the moment. Um, I might buy a forge header and then we might put the header on there. So yeah, we might get rid of it too. <laughs> like I said, I just have stuff that I don't need. Um, this here is a large Brazilian greenhouse. Um, so yeah, we open it up, come in here, and yeah. Very nice. Apparently it's a little quicker too, if I remember correctly. And water goes there, and that's all it needs. Uh, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beehives, and a honey pellet storage rack. Also got another 3,000 liter fuel tank. Big Flats, Texas shed here with a 20 meter trailed wind rower uh, we got the lizard comax I think yeah uh, and I believe this is a 20 meter spread and it's a field roller uh, we got the lizard tardis XL loading wagon we got the case age uh, tiger mate cultivator and we got the Pottinger weeder there. and we got this big massive uh, American water tower, I think it's called. Something like that. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, we got a uh, pressure washer station there, the Karcher one. So, that's nice. And, yeah, there's the uh, line production there. So, that's everything to show you here. I'll give you a little flyover doodle. I gotta say, the grass looks a lot better on PS5. It actually looks a little uh, more realistic. So that's, that's cool. But yeah, it's looking very nice. Gotta say. A little bumpy in some areas, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. I'm just gonna go slow right here before the mailbox. Literally just stop and then just like slowly roll and then get back to normal speed. That's how bad it is. There's another bump right here, too. And because this sign is here, I can't do shit. It's weird. Yeah. But yeah, that's that. And that's the uh, main farm. So we will jump on over to the secondary farm. And yeah, we got a lot of stuff here, too. Uh, so yeah, we got the American farmhouse here. And I don't think that... Oh, there is. We got the Opala Coop chilling in here in our garage so yeah that's that we got another dirt farm workshop here and we got our skid steer in here with the bucket and pallet fork and yes yeah, the knockoff bobcat one and also, yeah. uh, we got another pioneer silo that will hold 150,000 Got another grain quid silo that holds 20 million liters. Uh, we got another old fuel tank there. Uh, American shed here with the uh, the 
lawn care tipper. Uh, we got a bale wrapper. We got two more TLX 1982s, uh, crew cabs, and this one's got the auto load pallet. Um, and this one here's got the fire truck uh, thing going on. So that holds, I think, 40,000 liters of water. So yeah, pretty cool. I like that. I like the pump and the hose or whatever. Very cool. Very nice. So that's that. Uh, we got another metal garage here and in it we got Sadie the cleaning lady and I think it holds a hundred thousand liters We got the JCB backhoe and we got a Massey telehandler modded one uh, with a bill spike That Another water tower there uh, We got a maneuver production here so we give it straw and we will get manure. Uh, we got a fermenter here. So we can make silage, with grass. And then we got a dryer, uh, grass drying. So we can make hay from grass. That's that. Uh, we also got uh, another Big Flats Texas liquid fertilizer tank. Another multi fill trigger there. Uh, another pressure washer station, another fuel tank, and another C solid fertilizer uh, tank there. Also got another Minute Farms <laughs> workshop here. Uh, and we got the Demco low loader hooked up to the, uh, this is the biggest one I believe too. Or actually no, this is, the medium one, I think. But yeah, it's hooked up to the Roadrunner truck. Yeah, but. Uh, but we got another one here, and this one's hooked up to the Max line with the uh, Demco decals. Uh, we got a Challenger uh, Muck Spreader. Very nice, in case colors. It's kind of weird. It's kind of bright, but. Said case. Uh, then we got the case 821G wheel loader with a high tip bucket. Just attach that. Uh, we got the Crone Big M mower, and this is a modded one. So this is a uh, trailer hitch in the back. Uh, we got another TLX Phoenix X2 with a tanker. Oh, hold on, realistic capacity. And we got uh, the Massey Pro Baler with the Wind Rover and the Bale Stacker. Four bales at a time, I believe. Alright, that's everything in there. Uh, we got the medium warehouse here. And up front, we got another cab over with a uh, box unit on it. Uh, we got a charging station and another vehicle workshop trigger there. And inside we got the Jun Heinrich forklift and the JCB Teletruck. So that. Uh, we got the big chicken barn here. I believe this holds 5,000 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this here is the large sheep barn, I think it's called. Um, and this is actually fairly new. I think it came out like a week ago or something like that. Two weeks ago, maybe now. But uh, it holds 500 sheep, I believe. And you can change the color up. Pretty much just a base game shed with a sheep pasture. Uh, but yeah, we got a manure heap here, and it's a modded one. And we got the big monoscope, monoslope, or whatever, whatever yeah, monoslope, uh, cow pasture. Massive, massive cow pasture is my favorite one. And we used to actually have this on one of my last uh, Big Flats Texas uh, playthroughs. I think it was one of my first ones, too, to be honest. Yeah, pretty cool lo loading up with the manure and whatnot. 
Uh, yeah, and then we got the modern pigsty here as well. I forget how many of these this holds. Let's see, check here. Two fifty. Not bad. And we got a uh, slurry tank here, and this is a modded one. So yeah. And that is everything here. So yeah, then we'll give you a little flyover doodle here. I gotta say, this farm is like pristine. There's nothing wrong with this farm. There's no bumps really. It's perfect. Nice and open. Perfect. I like this farm. The other farm, not so much. <laughs> but yeah, that is uh, pretty much gonna do it for today. So uh, tune in next episode where we will be at a. We'll be doing another map tour. Uh, I will say we'll probably be doing another four or five of them. I have, I think, five or six. I think it's six maps on the go right now. Uh, I have two set up at the moment, so I will need to set up the other four, three or four, whatever it is. But yeah, so that is going to do it for today, though. So till next time, OCD Fireman signing out. Peace out.